Hey everybody, it's Miss Christina from the Walnut Street YMCA. Today we're gonna use some toilet paper rolls and some basic arts and crafts supplies to make an octopus. All you need are markers, a pair of scissors, toilet paper rolls, and if you want, crayons, but you don't really need, it's your choice, markers or crayons. So the first thing you're gonna do is choose a toilet paper roll. I think I like this one, so I'm gonna move my other ones out of the way and you need to color it. You're gonna color the whole outside of the toilet paper roll. I'm gonna choose the light blue. And color what's gonna be the body of my octopus. And I finished about half of it. I'm gonna go on to the next half of my octopus here. It's a little tricky along the edges. You wanna make sure you get all the way to the edges. You might wanna go over it more than once because my marker's drying out a little bit, but that's okay. I think it adds to the attraction my octopus is gonna have when I'm done. There we, there we go, just a few final touches, touching up where I don't like the color of my octopus, making sure I get all the edges. And don't worry about it if your toilet paper roll is not perfect, that makes each octopus unique. Next thing you need are your scissors. And you are going to cut about halfway up the toilet paper roll to make the legs of the octopus. I'm not really sure how many cuts to make, so we're gonna figure this out together. I made one, this is two, that made one leg, three, four, he has three legs, five, six, seven, uh-oh, eight. How many legs does my octopus have, guys? I lost seven. track. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yes, you're gonna, you guys are gonna make eight cuts around your octopus, you just kind of space it out. I didn't do a very good job because I, my octopus has an extra foot, uh, not an extra foot, a really wide foot, but that's okay, because we're all different. Um, and so now what you're gonna do is kind of fold up your octopus's legs. So if you did a good job, your cuts are about the same depth. Uh, might have messed up this first one, might not be the, quite the same. That's okay, because I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut a little bit more. I'm gonna fold up his legs. And after you fold up his legs, you're gonna want to color the bottoms of them, I think. I think they're not gonna, he's not gonna look right with brown undersides. So I'm gonna color the bottoms of his legs now that it's cut open. Same way that I colored a minute ago and it's okay, I'm gonna get a little messy because I can wash my hands when I'm done. And these days, hand washing is really, really important. So getting messy and having to wash my hands is totally okay. There you go, I'm almost done coloring the underside of my octopus's legs. I'm starting to think that he might need a name but haven't figured that out yet. You can see I got my hand nice and messy but that's okay, because that's what happens when we do arts and crafts, and it's okay to be messy. So I'm happy with that now, so I'm gonna set him down for a second. And I'm thinking he would look really cute with a little bit of curl to his legs, so I'm gonna use my crayon this time, because it's thinner, and kind of roll the leg a little. Each little leg, just a little bit on the thing. It looks like because I just, uh, made it a little wet with the marker that it's rolling really nicely. And I think I'm happy with how his legs are curled now, so I'm gonna set him back down. And now I wanna decorate the tops of his legs and the bottoms of his legs. So if you know anything about octopus, um, they have tentacles, um, and on the bottom of the tentacles are these little like suction cups. So I think on my octopus, I'm gonna use purple and I'm gonna just put some dots on the bottom of his legs where his um, little suction cups would be to make him look a little bit more real. Because I think my toilet paper roll octopus should look really real. If I'm putting all this work into him, even if he has one wonky leg, that's okay. 
So there we go. I got all the little suction cups drawn on the bottom of my octopus's legs. And I think it's time to do some decoration on the tops of his legs. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna put little like blue squigglies on the tops of his legs with my dark blue marker. I'm hoping it shows. This is all part of the art process is you don't always know if it's gonna look good. So we'll see. Um, so here we go, squiggle. This is kind of hard to do up in the air for you guys. If you were doing it at home, you could probably do it down on the table easier. Here I am putting the last of the squigglies on. When I'm all done, I might go over these just a little to make them darker, because I kind of like them, but they're hard to see. But um, the next thing my octopus needs, he's almost done, but he doesn't have a face. So I'm gonna like figure out where I wanna put his face by spinning him around. I really don't like that line going through his face, so I think I'm gonna put it over here. Well, over here a little bit more. And for that, I think I'm gonna use my black marker. And I mean, his face doesn't have to be too complicated, right? Um, you can decide what kind of octopus you wanna have. I'm thinking my octopus is happy. Um, he read a really good book earlier and he's having a great day at home. So he's a happy octopus, but you could have a sad octopus, a disgruntled octopus, a frowny face, a sleepy, just based on how you make his face. But here we go. There's my octopus kind of getting finished. I'm gonna clean up my supplies a little bit. And there he is. We have our toilet paper craft octopus. And now if you wanna have some fun, check back later this week when we do a video about StickBot and how to do stop motion videos. And you can use your octopus in your StickBot video later this week.